Hello once again and today we're going to be taking a look at my 10 year old Hans G model HH281 28 inch LCD monitor okay as I said I've had this 10 years so it ain't my primary monitor anymore it's my um, secondary monitor which I basically only use now if I do a live stream um, but it used to be my prim primary monitor until I upgraded to a 4k monitor even that's about six or seven years old now so I haven't upgraded a monitor in that amount of time but there's nothing wrong with it at the moment so why do I need to upgrade but this is good for a for a secondary monitor, I mean it would still be good as a primary monitor if I didn't have this 4K monitor. Um, yeah, so let's switch it on. Well, I've got it. All I have to do is just push a cup, just a button on something else and it'll pop up. Here we go. So yeah, the resolution on this is 1900 by 12. 19 by 12 so it's slightly higher than 1080 so that's good yeah that's maximum 1900 by 1200 that's the maximum resolution and what this has got is two HDMI ports and one VGA port no display ports I think this might come out before display port um, I know there's 1080 1080p monitors with display port but this ain't one of them I think it might have come out just before that but I don't know but yeah it only cost back in the day 223 pounds and that's pretty budget that's a budget price you know I'm not going to pay thousands and thousands of pounds for a monitor I'm not a die-hard gamer or anything like that so why would I want to spend that ridiculously amount of money? Um, and when I'm I'm looking at Amazon now, and it's still two hundred and twenty-three pounds, but temporary out of stock. So I don't know if they obviously ain't going to manufacture this model anymore. Um, yeah, but I've got no complaints about this monitor. Well, I do have one complaint, which we're going to get to. Nothing to do with the, the picture, the screen, or anything like that. Um, even with my new monitor, the buttons are at the back, with bottom at the back, but these are underneath. So, if you, yeah, right underneath. So that could be a bit of a pain, but once you get used to it, I suppose it's alright. So, that's to turn it on and off. I think, yeah, that brings up a menu here if you want to select from VGA to HDMI. To HDMI 2 let's just start a quick select but it automatically if you've got one computer or device plugged in it will automatically go to it unless you've got multiple right if you've got two HDMI computers in and a VGA you will have to select what one you want but if you've got one in operation it will go to the one that is being used so you don't have to worry about that um, here this is, I think, this is your menu button right here. This first one, yeah, that brings up your menu, and the two here that they will just navigate. So if you want to go to, um, I don't know, just say you can choose. If you want to choose something, you just push the second button here. In, I mean, that's the last button. That will, oh. Just bring up the menu again and just say you want to pick that, just click that, then you then you're inside this menu, so you can just choose what you want. Yeah, and if you want to get rid of it, just push that button and it get rid of it. Yeah, so for a 10-year-old monitor, it could still be used as a primary monitor. I wouldn't have no complaints about it. But obviously, because I upgraded to a 4K monitor, I just basically use this as a, a a number two monitor, just in case I do a live stream or something like that. And this is pretty good. It's got, as I say, the resolutions just higher than 1080. 
Um, it's a 28 inch screen, so it's not exactly small. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be ideal. It won't be no. It won't be ideal for a, a die-hard gamer or nothing like that. Nor with this monitor I'm using here. I use, you know, they want expensive monitors, so I can understand that. But for what I want it for, it does the job. Yeah. So let's have a quick look at the back. Yeah. So you can mount it to the wall if you want to. Um, so under this a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So I've got them all plugged in, so it's a little, f no there's not, there's no flap. It's also, it's got a, a mic, not a mic in, is that a mic? I think that could be a mic input as well. It's also got built in speakers, so there's audio, um, that's an audio lead going from another computer. So yeah, it's got built in speakers as well. I think it has, I don't think there's no microphone in it, so I don't really know what that other thing does. Um... Perhaps it's um, a audition, auditionary speakers or something. I don't know. I should really look in. Um, don't say nothing there. I mean, I don't know if I've still got the instructions. Might be around somewhere, but I don't know. Whatever that is. Might be a mic. I don't know. Why would it be a microphone? I shouldn't think so. Might be um, a bass speaker or something like that. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I mean... <laughs> £223, I thought I was getting a really good bargain, which I did, I was I, I was really happy with it, you know, it served me, what, three years, I think, until, or four years, until I upgraded to my 4K monitor, which I got there, I've had that, as I said, six or seven years now, and it's, that's done me really well, and that was a budget monitor as well, so... I've done a review on that, a brief review, like a br this is like a brief review. Um, yeah, but you got to remember it's a budget monitor, so don't expect, you know, a thousand pounds worth of monitor. But what I want it for, it does justice. And, you know, I thought, yes, it's a ten-year-old monitor, I thought I'd give it a, a review, because I haven't done a review of it. Right, additional. Right, I found the manual well. It's a CD-ROM. The manual comes on a CD-ROM, but this is the what it came with. So it came with obviously a power cord, a warranty card, quick start guide, user manual. It did come with a VGA cam, ca cable, audio cable, optional. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, HDMI to DVI, no, that didn't come. Yeah, HDMI cable, none of that come. Yeah, I remember it did come with a VGA cable, but yeah. So it does come with a few capes, no HDMI, nothing like that. Ah, oh, here we go. So, power AC, HDMI input, VGA input, audio input, and earphones. Oh my god, out of all that, of course it's earphones. <laughs> and there's me thinking it was a bass speaker, no. It's earphones, of course it is. There you go. I think we'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.